in the midst of all this Assad mumbo jumbo about chemical weapons and all this stuff which you know I'm not sure if a lot of you are, are paying attention to this very closely or if you're just listening to the propaganda because that's you know 99% of what you're seeing on this is propaganda uh, I do see a few people out here kind of understand it and they're with it they understand what's going on um, I feel like uh, it's important that everybody pays attention because we all agree that killing children is very bad <laughs> and we all agree that you know people dying in a war about fake religions is really bad uh, we don't all agree on which religions are fake and I say they're all fake um, I got a lot of proof to back up what I say so be careful how you come at me I don't want to clown anybody on my channel I just want to teach learn and help others that's it now this article goes back to explain a little bit about the uh, methodology behind what we're seeing right now and um, it does more than that it also adds motive and premeditation to the event uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read the article a US backed plan to launch chemical weapon attack on Syria and blame it on Assad's government London January 30th the Obama administration gave green signal to a chemical weapons attack plan in Syria that could be blamed on President Bashar al-Assad's regime and in turn spur international military action in the devastated country leaked documents have shown a new report that contains an email exchange between two senior officials at British-based contractor Britain Defense showed a scheme approved by Washington. As per the scheme, Qatar would fund rebel forces in Syria to use chemical weapons, the Daily Mail reports. Barack Obama made it clear to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad last month that the U.S. would not tolerate Syria using chemical weapons against its own people. Plant the seed. According to Infowars.com, the December 25th email was sent from Britain's business development director David Goulding to company founder Philip Doughty. The emails were released by a Malaysian hacker who also obtained senior executive resumes and copies of passports via an unprotected company server, according to CyberWar News. According to the paper, the U.S. State Department has declined to comment on the matter. I'd like to go ahead and add my thoughts to this because it's very important to realize that sometimes when they throw it in your face it's to make you believe that it's so ridiculous that they just wouldn't do it I understand that what I'm trying to say in this situation is or what it looks to me is that this situation someone got snagged up on the little emails deal so it was thrown out in the air they knew it was coming out well, here they come in to do some damage control. Why does this statement make any sense? Barack Obama made it clear to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad last month that the U.S. will not tolerate Syria using chemical weapons against its own people. What is that to say? When, they're, when we're right here in the same article, we're the ones that are planning a scheme to make it look like they're doing that so why in the same breath are is Barack Obama so why would Barack Obama be saying don't do that to your own people right before he's about to do it to you well because there's a lot of people who are really not paying attention those are the majority of the voters so you got a majority of the voters that only hear the emotional point of view the emotional point Barack Obama made it clear to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad last month that the US would not tolerate Syria using chemical weapons against its own people and that's when we all chime in and think yeah 
because we're America and we're not going to let you hurt poor old whoever it is. But with great power comes great responsibility. You know, right, Spidey? <laughs> um, no. It does. But see, this isn't responsibility. Alright? What this is, it is invasiveness. Uh, it's collaborating with other fascists to control a region. Uh, what this is, is a nightmare. These people are living in a nightmare over there, and we're so weird about it that we don't even. What is going on? This is it's a nightmare over here, but not like that nightmare. That's a different program, like a different channel. It's all the same cable company, but we all got different channels basically in each state. You know, right now we got different channels in states and countries, basically. You know. It's fucking showtime over here in the U.S. According to Infowars. Like they're not trying to beef up Infowars. Keep mentioning them when they're not even the ones that broke this shit. Mm. I've never seen anything like that before. And with any luck, I'll never see anything like it again. No! <laughs> <laughs> Play it again. Oh, right.